force the GP because the undead came in with the gargoyles. Only one dryad was lost. And that is really well done here by Remind. Also, another tree of life has been built all the way to the left of the map. It went up, and now Remind is able to expo if Fav doesn't see that or uh, or harass that. And let's take a look at the, the food and the hero counts. Uh, Fav still at 50 over 60, and Remind is at 49 over 60. But take a look at the hero levels by uh, by our Mr. Fav. Fav's got four and a half and three hero, and Remind's got a four and a four. So I. I'm guessing it looks a pretty uh, a little bit better for for Remind in terms of hero levels, but the Death Knight Five will become a killer, and you always have to watch out for that. And here uh, the gargoyles are uh, scouting this really well, seeing that Remind is creeping that, not going in, decides to go for the base instead, get some wisp kills. Uh, really nice, um, a good choice here by Fav, but unfortunately for him there were no more wisp around there to kill, and only the ancient protector, which he doesn't want to fight head on with uh, those gargoyles and the ancient protector isn't really that much of a defensive factor it's more of a in the same way gargs are annoying against night elf uh, the ancient protector is annoying against uh, undead because if you're focusing the right garg or the low hp garg you can get a kill off and uh, it basically uh, puts some pressure back on the undead who is pressurizing you it's not really that the ancient protector is uh, is really protecting your wisp uh, like 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 the personal bodyguard or whatever it doesn't really do that it it basically uh disables it, it basically forces the gives the undead a feeling that that he's being that there's being fought against him because you're playing uh against undead lots of undeads when you got like your ancient protector there and pl plenty of wisp wisp around they will just go like ah fuck you ancient protector and just go wisp 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 and the ancient protector still there but uh they just basically ignore him. So, but, well, yeah, that that's what a lot of uh, lesser undead players do. But uh, I don't know why why the better ones don't don't do that. You can easily take out a wisp for four or five when you're when you're there with your gargles. And here, yeah, Fav is just simply ignoring the ancient protector here, going for those uh, going for those wisps. He's also like the ancient protector doesn't really matter much, and this is nice. Uh, by Remind going for the statue, getting a mana burn off, and uh, it's always wise to uh, to be pursuing those statues. Take a look at the the Death Knight's mana. Doesn't have mana for Death Coil. The Ledge doesn't have mana for uh, Frost Nova. That's why Remind is chasing the undead army like he is right now. And another, uh, the Panarin Brewmaster is trying to uh, force those gargo gargoyles to back off, and the Expo has gone up for Remind. Five ways spin it. Also. Uh, when you're building an expo and you're busy with something else, uh, a thing I do myself uh, to to make it easier for me to uh, to train Wisp at the expo is to just group it at like group number six or whichever group you may not use. And once your expo is finished, you see uh, a building is complete, tree of life. You just go press six, make a bunch of Wisp, and then you're done with that. You don't have to worry if you got uh, if you got enough wisp in your gold mine, you you simply have them because you are, you are doing it at the right time, and you won't you won't have to worry about forgetting it or just putting in three because you only have 300 gold. Uh, just and then you get into a battle and you don't remember about uh, you forget about uh, getting wisp in your X band. So that that's a really nice uh, and helpful tool uh, if you're if you find yourself uh, uh, having some trouble with uh, with with forgetting to put wisp in your mine. During uh, during intense games, which you have to do a lot, in which you have to do a lot, a nice mana burn going off on the ledge, uh, disabling it to get off uh, uh, the f the frost nova. Now he's chasing the death knight, and even though the death knight does have mana, uh, he can't afford to chase it around because uh, he can only throw one death coil on the demon hunter. But what surprises me that Fav didn't throw just throw the death coil on the demon hunter and then just got away. But whatever. Also, really nice item on the demon hunter rune bracers. Uh, they reduce magic damage dealt to the hero by 33%. I don't know if they stack, but if they would stack, that would be cool. And this is this is great for uh, great items for remind. But still, the game is uh, leaning heavily towards false favor. And as I said, they can win with one mine. Uh, Fof has spent the entire game just uh, basically uh, just being annoying, uh, being annoying to remind. Uh, trying to uh, take a lot of his uh, of his lumber away, basically forcing him to a very slow game, not getting his uh, 
not getting his uh, economy advantage that uh, too early. Well, in the same time, in the meantime, he's been upgrading his units. He's got two zero gargoyles. Take a look at Remind's upgrade. He only got one uh, uh, one damage upgrade done, and fob has got two. So that's, so that's good. And he's also got uh, high hero levels. Got a five and a three, nearly four, with some awesome items on them. And uh, Remind is almost at five five as well. But at this point in the game, uh, uh, the gargoyles will be. Uh, will be really a pain in the ass to deal with in battles and which we will see now I'm going to take a sip of my cola because my throat is hurting from all this talking your building is complete now take a look at Fav's unit composition which is really well done. He's bringing his ghouls right now into the fight, and he's got his um, ab bombs going on with their uh, with their uh, disease cloud, and he's got his uh, his meat wagon. And he's got his healing statue. And he's got his frostworm. The frostworm is there for the bears. The gargoyles are there for the dryads. The ab bombs are there to get even more damage, continuous damage on the dryads and the. Uh, Meat wagon is there because it won't get focused anyway, and it'll be able to deal a shitload of damage against individual dryads. So a really nice unit composition here by Fav, and once the miners run out, Fav isn't even bothering with uh, with getting another one. I think he's just going in for for the final push. Let's take a look at his resources. Nah, no, he's not. He's not even going to bother building a mine. He's just br uh, bringing the acolytes to uh, to repair that meat wagon and, and perhaps to fight even. They still do uh, a whopping 9 to 10 damage with 220 HP, so they are a force to be reckoned with. And Remind in the meantime is trying to creep up to 5-5, five, five. and the really bad point about this game is that Remind didn't creep his Pandaren Brewmaster alone up to level 5. That would have aided him greatly in the, in the upcoming battle, because right now both of his heroes are nearly at level 5, but not quite there yet, which means that he will have to fight this fight without the level 5 Drunken Haze Breath of Fire, which would have been... Uh, perhaps game breaking this situation now with the uh, meat wagons, two meat wagons even. Uh, the tree of life goes down in no time. Ghouls with frenzy, gargoyles, uh, which are really speedy. Uh, and now Remind knows that he's going to have to take this fight. Mana burn going off on the ledge, not on the death knight. And drunken haste had been casted, and breath of fire as well. A nice uh, use of heal scrolls here by Fav. And take a look at this fight. Remind is getting totally dominated. Drives are in a bad position. He isn't even moving them away. The bears are basically just there doing nothing while the Pandaren Brewmaster is getting slowed by that Frostworm and uh, unable to get away. But now Fav noticed that the Pandaren Brewmaster shouldn't be focused and he's going for the bears. Takes out one bear, takes out another, nearly takes out another. And take a look at Remind. He's at 66 food, but he's better. Take a look at the army of Remind. He, he, he does have. He's building a lot of trees all over the map, and this is this will be the downfall of Fav because he didn't really uh, scout all these points. But who would expect that Remind would build the Tree of Life at the point where Fav is now uh, was originally supposed to be uh, to be expanding? And now uh, Fav will try to finish this, but the really with the downside for him is that he's only got two heal scrolls left, and once those heal scrolls burn out, that banner and Brewmaster will become a really big uh, pain in the ass. Still hasn't leveled to level 5. Fav didn't lose a single unit in that battle. Perhaps he lost uh, he lost a, a ghoul or a garg, but not, nothing uh, important enough to get that banner and Brewmaster to level 5. Demon Hunter is nearly there now, but but still, uh, Remind is trying to fight this, but he, he simply can't. The Protector is doing some some damage I guess but it, it's not of, of that big importance. Remind's trying to go for the uh, meat wagon but the demon hunter gets killed off and the pattern brewmaster is dealing a shitload of damage and I really don't know if Fav should have been uh, using his heal scrolls the way he was perhaps it would have been better to just uh, uh, play a bit more cautious not waste that heal scroll and go for uh, uh, ju just move the gargs back go stone form and then go again because that will heal them anyway that will heal them as well and right now Remind is hoping that his economy advantage, because he does have two mines up and running right now uh, against the zero of Fav, will uh, get him back in the game by uh, by buying his heroes back. See the Pandaren Brewmaster has been bought back, immediately used, uh, using the mana potion. Nice dodge of the Breath of Fire there by uh, by Fav, used to play for the legendary team of Four Kings Intel together with Creolophus, Grubby and Todd and Zeus and Fury. 
and <laughs> a couple of days ago, some uh, a, a friend of mine was at my place, and we used to play Warcraft together, and then the pandering goes down. And we used to play Warcraft together, 